one of the stations then. There's going to be a it. few we reveal, so let's dig into the first one, shall we? Amazing, yeah. So this is the lineup for Horizon Pulse. It's coming back. Amy Simpson is the DJ um, doing doing her thing. So we... um. When we approach these stations, we like to, like Fraser was saying, get a mixture of sort of big headline artists and people we think are going to be headline artists in a few years to come. So um, you can see here Dua Lipa, Glass Animals, um, Porter Robinson, all great, yeah, great uh, artists that we've got. I've really mm -hmm. been enjoying uh, the new release by Porter Robinson. Like, look at the sky, it's just it's so good. It's so like sun drenched, it's yeah. amazing. Um, I also just realized it's not quite a surprise considering we've got this big poster behind us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people have already read yeah. the whole thing, so actually. Don't, they're don't just being polite yeah. now. People uh, could actually see this on the Fox Monthly as well. So <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Exclusive. World exclusive. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some really good uh, variation on here as well. Um, I, I've been really enjoying a bit of Jungle. The new, new album by Jungle is, is really um, eclectic and varied. It's kind of almost a bit orchestral. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that track by Centaurus is one of my favorites as well, El, El Punto Final. Centaurus, for people who don't know, are one of the biggest indie bands in Mexico City right now. So um, oh, yeah, if you yeah. don't love them yet, you will soon once you hear that track. It's one of those songs that just makes you feel happy. Like, it's just, it just completely uplifts you. Um, I think another track on this as well, um, Sotomayor. So these are sort of a sibling duo from Mexico City. Um, they've got a song called Kima, which we've got in our, on our... Uh, Pulse Station, but they have also written music for um, our expedition as well, so it's sort of bespoke composition ah. for the Horizon Wilds expedition, and um, right. that is hey, my favourite song. Lot. Well right, it's... Block Party's up next. What have we got, go got going on over there? Ah, it's Block Party. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at uh, that! My favourite station in the game, and... Um, I think absolutely, absolutely thrilled with this track list. I think yeah, it's one of the best yeah. uh, block party. Well, it is the best yeah. block party track list we've had. Right at the top there, Beastie Boys, Run DMC. Um, that, that new track from Lil Nas X, absolute banger. You can't move for hearing that right so now good. on the radio. Yep. Um, oh, so good. Yeah, I think um, so. Bombay Stereo as well. They uh, there's a song we got called Soyo, and that is probably like the most upbeat, fun party block block party track in the game. It's um, when we talk about what can you smash pinatas to. That is the song. It's, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, we've got Horizon Story where you, you, you kind of, if you're Guanajuato, um, to that song and you're kind of um, smashing lots of stuff. And and it's, it's should so we have fun. a look at Hospital feeling. Records next? Here we go. Hospital Records making a, a massive return back to the franchise. We've got a really good relationship with Hospital Records and... I think, I think they're basically our best friends at this point. They, they are, are our best friends, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, are they send us lots of merch as well, which is always nice. <laughs> I think by now, Hospital Records has kind of become part and parcel of the sound of Horizon as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, like you, you can't oh, make that. a Horizon yeah. game without that drum and bass soundtrack to, to really... It it sells 200 miles per hour, doesn't it? It's um, Although they would probably say 171 miles per hour. 174 <laughs> to be correct. 174 BPM. There you go. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got some amazing artists on here, and it's it's worth saying that all of the songs that we're featuring on Hofstra Records are um, absolute exclusives to Forza Horizon 5. They oh, are all unreleased. Um, and, you know, we've we got some really good tracks on there. I think I'm right in saying, and I think I'm allowed to say that Hostel Records will be releasing uh, a vinyl of this uh, as a standalone album. So as a world exclusive oh, reveal. <laughs> I think if you check out the Hospital Records Twitter, probably about now, they're yeah. probably scrambling to tweet out and confirm that is, that is true. <laughs> it um, is true. Yeah. But it is like super exciting. So um, yeah. yeah, if you if you're a collector of vinyl, I actually am. Um, then jump on that pre-order as quick as you can. Uh, and, but Give me a chance first. Yeah, um. we, I mean, we did one for Horizon Four, and none of us got a copy. I think you ended up buying one off of eBay for an extortion. I, I did, I did. I, bought, oh I, I had to buy the test. I bought the test print from from eBay, which didn't come with the proper sleeve, but I like, did have the correct <laughs> vinyl record. Right so. then, uh, should we have a look at another station now, everybody? Ooh. So this one, yes, the that's... name has changed slightly in Forza Horizon Five, but you would say it's maybe a familiar classic. Mm -hmm. I see what you did there. See, I see yeah, what you did there. Clever, very, very clever. punny. So this is Thank Radio you. Eterna. This is the classical station for Forza Horizon 5. Obviously, previously we had Timeless FM, but this time we have a brand new host, Dolores Martin, and she is a sort of um, Mexican host for the classical music in the game. Um, yeah, it's great. I mean, I uh, we've 
we found when we were putting this station together that there are actually a wealth of Mexican composers that you've probably heard the tunes, you just didn't realize okay. they were by Mexican mm -hmm. composers before. Um, one of them is Sobre las Olas, which is uh, perhaps one that you'll have heard. It's da 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 Hopefully we don't get any take down from me singing that. I do sing on all these screens, Fraser, I love it. Them bots are already crawling all over our YouTube upload now. Well done, Fraser. Here comes the take down. Do techno. But yeah, we've got Juventino Rosas, Ricardo Castro, Macedonia Alcala, and there's some really good classics on there. I also love the idea of Chopin headlining the Horizon Festival, just like coming out, <laughs> pulling out his What's tails. What's up, Mexico? One, two, three. Uh, <laughs> do you want to get lit? Oh, it's going to be so good. The base I'm... arena lineup now. Very funny. Yes, this there is Horizon is. Base Arena. Yeah, so Scott Tyler, our DJ, comes back. I believe he's been in every single Horizon he game. Has, he is yeah. a staple name Up and voice top. of Bass Arena. Uh, again, we, we, we try to get loads of big names, big headliners, and people we think are going to be headliners. Um, people like Dead Mouse, St. John and Manbeck, um, Big Wild, Grant. We've got some really fun stuff in here. I, I'm going to say it again. I think it's the best Bass Arena we've had since Forza Horizon 4. <laughs> I, uh, I would whoa, agree. Okay. I would agree. Yeah. It's definitely it's definitely the best bass arena. I think, it's like, hands down, there's so many like, thudding, amazing tracks in here. Um, one of my personal favorites, S.G. Lewis, Nile Rogers. We've got Nile, Nile Rogers on Nile bass Nile arena, Rogers live at the Horizon Festival. Nile. In fact, he's right <laughs> here. <laughs> 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 and he's going to perform. Uh, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next stream. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. You know, you're totally right. And so this this is obviously um, the main center of this music is kind of upbeat, dance, bass-driven music. But there's so many different kind of emotions you can pull from that. So um, that song at the bottom, um, Riot, we've got a song called Jungle Fury, which is probably the most intense song I think we've ever had in a Horizon game. It's like <laughs> super, super intense dubstep. And we, uh, we've we actually made, uh, so Kelly, one of our designers, has made a Horizon story where you, uh, I talk about the pun and the gameplay. This is actually the gameplay that came first. Um, <laughs> where you right, drive okay. a trailblazer through the jungle um, uh, in, a, in a tropical storm. And so we play this song, uh, Jungle Fury, and it's like <laughs> the best synergy of gameplay and song. It just feels really, really good. And so that's I something that. we've sort of taken across every time. All the songs we put in here is where can we put this music in the game? You know, uh, Matt Zoe, we've got the Matt Zoe uh, Colors, which is a really fun um, summer track, and it's great for sort of cruising down the coast with, with a sunset as well. So, lots of different kind of experiences you'll get on every station that kind of still fit within the um, the genre. And you know, <laughs> if there is, you know, it's not too long to find out potentially if we're lying to you or not. But now we're going to have a look at what's my favourite station, I think. Aside from the new classic station is Horizon XS. Tell me about the incredible names we've got on this. Like, wow. That is right. Yeah, Horizon XS is back. This is our sort of core rock station, um, if you want to say that. And uh, again, yes, we've got great stuff here from people like Foo Fighters, Bring Me the Horizon, Nothing But Fees, really going for that kind of like heavy guitar riff laden uh, mm -hmm. music, which is awesome. Uh, a key one as well to point out is Angelica Garcia. So she is an artist, um, she got a song called Karma the Knife, but she's also going to be the DJ host for Horizon Excess. And she was um, oh, brilliant. absolutely amazing, wasn't she? She was really, really good. Yeah, it was it, one of the examples of, we found a music track first and we put it in the game and we all, loved it yeah it just yeah. like immediately fit and then i think you were watching some YouTube yeah videos. it's it, uh, uh, as honestly often happens when we're introduced to new artists through this you kind of you google them and you find out what they're doing on what what are their instagrams look like what are they posting on youtube and it was through some of the content uh, that she put out on youtube i thought you know, she is a really great fit to be the dj on this station she's just got such a, mm -hmm. such a fun engaging personality um that as well as being an awesome rock singer she actually was a great fit for a dj as well so we reached out to her and asked if she would like to do it and she did and honestly she was she was brilliant yeah yeah 